Hey gang, Sean here for VFX Jams. In today's episode, we're going to continue on with our film damage look. In this particular episode, we are going to create a strobing effect uh, or a flicker. Now, what this is, is um, this is can happen in a couple of different ways, but uh, probably what you're seeing when you see this effect is in real life, other than an, a fake like we're doing here, is you are probably seeing the uh, shutter um, subtly roll uh, exposing each frame and it's not quite timed perfectly so you're getting a cut off a brief cut off of light uh, being sent through the projector to the screen so uh, that's one you can also have problems with exposure that might be another reason that would cause it to strobe and that would happen usually on the capture end when you're actually filming something so let's jump in we're going to start with a piece of footage you start with whatever piece of footage you would like to apply this effect to we're going to use our Santa Monica Pier footage we've, like we've been using for this entire series. And we're going to turn off the audio. We're going to remember this time. So this is easy enough. Uh, we are going to add a, an adjustment layer here. So go down in your timeline, right mouse click, new, adjustment layer. Let's label it Flickr. And we want to apply the strobe light effect. So I already have it selected up here, but if you need to search for it, uh, just go up into your little magnifying glass here in the effects and presets panel, search and just type in strobe and boom, it's right there. Now we want to apply it and we just did. So I'll, I'll do that again. That was a little bit of a magic trick. Uh, you, you can do one of two things. You can either bring up your effects control panel here while your flicker adjustment layer is selected and that will apply to this or you can just drag it straight down to that layer. So strobe light, we'll drag it down to the layer just for kicks. All right, so there you go. Uh, we're going to leave the strobe color to white. We're going to leave that as is. Blend with original. We're going to crank that all the way up to 95% because we just want a hint of this in our footage. We don't want it super um, overpowering. So in our strobe duration, we're gonna change that to 0 0.05. Strobe period, we wanna change that to 0 0.10. The random strobe probability, we wanna crank all the way up to 100. And our strobe operator, we want to change to add. So let's take a look. Should create just a very subtle strobing effect or a flicker. Yeah, that's it. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward, pretty handy. There you go. So if you want to make it more intense, you would just take the blend with original down to like say half of that, just 50%, and you'll see it really flash. That might be a little too much, but uh, but generally also too, if you want to obviously create a strobe light effect on your footage, strobe light plugins probably the one you want to go to. But but we're gonna go back up to 95% and um, leave it there. So. So that's it. That's how you create a very simple strobing or flicker effect on your footage. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.